Okay, you sleep? <laughs> okay, sis. Let's talk about something that has been bothering me. I get so aggravated when people ask me, when am I having a baby? When am I having their baby? Am I pregnant yet? Those questions drive me up a wall. And I'm sure I'm not the only married girl out here or girl in a relationship, whatever. I'm sure I'm not the only one that goes through this. So yes, I am 28 minus one years old. Yes, I am married. We've been married for a year and a half, you know, but that doesn't mean that I have to have a baby today. And I think it's so insensitive when people ask, you know, have you had a baby or when are you having a baby? You know, are you pregnant yet? Whatever, whatever. I think that's such an insensitive question to ask because you never know what somebody is going through. You don't know if I'm trying to have a baby. You don't know if I've miscarried, which God willing, I haven't and, and I won't prayerfully, but you don't know what I'm experiencing. And this goes for any woman. People don't understand how hard it is to have a child it's not easy like yeah you know science has gotten better technology has gotten better and you know won't 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 but like there are a lot of women out here you know because of the side effects of birth control because of all these different things we are unable to have kids you know and, or we're having a hard time having kids so i just don't understand what the big deal is and what the pressure is on people and why people think it's okay to ask when are you having kids or when you having my baby first off are you taking care of this baby Okay, let's start there, sis. Are you taking care of the baby? Are you gonna come pick it up when it's crying? Are you gonna feed it breast milk or whatever you're gonna feed it? Are you gonna do the day-to-day -day maintenance of it? Are you gonna drop it off at school? Are you gonna um, make sure it has food to eat? Are like, what are you contributing besides asking me something that has nothing to do with you? And I know people have good intentions when they ask this question. Like, I know that they're just excited, you know, because it's like you're married and, you know, first comes love, then come marriage, then come the baby. Like, I totally get it. And I think that's so cute. Like, I get it. I get it. And I'm okay with that. But every time I see you, every time I see you, you have to ask me about a baby. Do you see a baby? Do I look pregnant? No, I'm fat. Like, I'm not pregnant. I'm just gaining weight because I have nothing better to do but eat. So yes, I'm gaining weight. I like my weight. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad about it. I think that as a global community, we have to get better with asking things that could trigger something in other people. You never know what somebody is going through. And while I get that that question is very, you know, well-intentioned, you know, nobody means any, nobody means harm when they say, oh, are you pregnant? You know, when are you guys having a baby? You know, I know that that's stemming from excitement you know because you know but for any woman in general it you never know what somebody is going through you know i talk to girls all the time who you know they've experienced miscarriages or they want a baby so bad and they haven't had one yet and they've been trying for you know one two three years or whatever you know and so i think we have to do better at not you know highlighting something that you don't know anything about like you don't know what she's going through you know and it, and she doesn't have to share with you she doesn't have to share with you you know if she's had miscarriages or if she's trying or what like people don't have to share that let someone volunteer that information i volunteer the fact that me and tay are okay with having a baby and that we are you know eventually you know we're open now to the idea of having kids we want five kids like i'm i'm very open about all those things but like let me come and talk to you about that don't just like bust up in my face talking about some are you when are you having kids are you having kids yet where's my baby <laughs> where's whose baby okay are you gonna are you gonna pay me for this baby because surrogates get paid so okay sis like let's dial it back you know so i just that is my rant for today because i saw someone today and like they were with other people and they just kept asking me, kept asking me, kept asking me. Sorry, my phone's going off, but they just kept asking me, asking me, asking me about having a baby and all that kind of stuff. And why don't you ask me like, oh, how's married life treating you? You know, like people only ask that question for like the first two months of marriage. And then after that, they move on to the baby. Like, dang, can we enjoy being together? Like, where's this coming from? Like, I just, I don't understand where this comes from. And I'm so glad that like, I've never been that person to ask someone like, oh, when do you have a baby? Like, you know, well, I just never been that person because it's none of my business. It's none of my business when you have a baby. You have a baby when you have a baby, period. You know, and so I just, 
I'm sending a hug to all of you guys out there who have to deal with people constantly being in your face you know asking when you're having a baby you know I'm sending a hug to all of you that are trying to have a kid and you cannot have a kid like I can only imagine how that feels you know and prayerfully I don't have to go through that same experience but I, I have people that are close to me and that I know that have experienced things when it comes to childbirth and I just really feel like questions about when people are going to have kids and you know even the whole thing of like when you're 30 like you know people's parents people's parents will tell them like you're getting too old like you need to hurry up and have a baby like hey you know like you never know what the experience is like you just never know what somebody is going through and i think we have to be so sensitive and so understanding to the fact that it is not easy we have got to start being more sensitive like stop asking people if they are pregnant stop asking people if they're gonna have a baby when they're having a baby stop stop taking ownership of somebody else's child you know when, when you don't even like we're not even friends that's the other <laughs> we're not even friends we're not even like legit friends friends for you to say when i'm not having your baby when am i having whose baby i don't even know you but okay i think another thing that I have to start doing and I think more women should start doing is you have to start setting boundaries you have to tell people change the subject you know it's nobody's business you don't have to I think so many times like because someone asks us when are you having a baby or you know when are you having my baby I think so often we feel so obligated to give them an answer or explanation when you don't you don't you can just straight up say no I'm not having a kid right now you know what I'm saying or mind your business like I'm gonna just start telling people to mind their business like that's something a lot of people use learn to do is to mind your business what i got going on over here with my body is none of your business okay if you, you want a baby so bad you have it yourself okay i just don't understand i just don't understand the logic behind bothering someone and, and 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 questioning someone about their life and i get it like if you're friends with someone if you're close to someone it, it may make sense to ask them like oh you know are, are you having a baby yet or whatever like that but like it's usually strangers or like random people or people that you don't see all the time it's those people that want to just dig in and, and the first thing they want to go for is oh so when are you having a baby when i have a baby that, that's that's what i'm having one no, no big deal just whenever i have it like come on come on so we have to be i just want everybody if you are if you have asked someone when are you having my baby or when are you having a baby or you know are you having any kids yet or are you pregnant yet before you ask this question ever again think about how you would feel if someone asked you that question you know think about how you would feel if you may be having issues having a child or if you have miscarried a child or whatever think about how you would feel if someone came at you that way think about how you would feel if you're trying to enjoy being married and getting used to being married because it's a whole it's a whole thing by itself think about how you would feel if someone like the first thing they have out of their mouth is to ask you if you're having kids to add on to what what's already a busy and a little bit more complicated life you know i think if we start putting ourselves in other people's shoes we'll stop asking stupid questions period and like and i believe that there's such thing as stupid questions i know people say it's no such thing it's such a thing as a stupid question and i got a whole list of them like it's a such thing you know and to me that's one of them because you never know what somebody is going through and what somebody's experience is I'm gonna get off of my soapbox because this probably going this little clip probably gonna last longer than I usually let clips last. But I just really had to say that because it's something that's been bothering me, you know, especially today, especially today after I just really felt like, wow, you know, we've been dating or well, we've been married for, you know, a year and a half now. And, you know, it's like, oh, you know, yes, we want a kid, but, you know, I don't think I'm pregnant. Well, I don't know. I'm not pregnant right now. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not pregnant right now. And so it's like, it's just really hard to hear people say stuff like that because it's it's not that I don't want to have a kid or don't want to be pregnant but like it's gonna happen at the right time when it's supposed to happen and I don't need the extra pressure and nobody's two cents you know every time I see you you're asking me about a kid chill chill just chill everybody just needs to chill if you want someone else to have a baby go have a baby yourself focus on yourself okay okay <laughs>